The Philippine Army plans to add the Philippine Marine Corps KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicle. The KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicle is very useful to the Philippines, as it can be used on both sea and land. The Philippines currently has only eight units of the Philippine Marine Corps KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicles on base for the time being. The Philippine Department of Defense ordered the KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicle in 2016 under a $55.5 million contract. As part of the first phase of AAV acquisition, Eight units were planned for purchase under the revised AFP Modernization Program Horizon 1 phase, and the eight units of KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicles were all successfully acquired. With Horizon 3 underway, will the AAV acquisition project continue and additional units be acquired? With the various missions that the KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicle has successfully performed, the Philippine Army should consider acquiring additional units to reinforce the Philippine coast. In recent years, South Korea has sought to expand its presence in the Philippine arms market. Meanwhile, the Philippines is also actively modernizing its armed forces with weapons acquisition projects for both the Air Force, Army, and Navy. The KAAV-7A1 has a length of 8.16 meters, a width of 3.27 meters, a height of 3.31 meters, and a combat weight of about 24 tons. The armored vehicle is designed in the shape of a boat for the ability to swim in the sea. No less than the Russian BTR armored vehicles. Even experts say that the swimming ability of the KAAV-7A1 is stronger than the BTR. The fully welded hull protects the crew from small arms fire, shrapnel, and explosive shells. To suppress residual penetration of shaped charge ammunition, state-of-the-art enhanced applique armor EAAK, has been added to the hull. Other improvements on the KAAV-7A1 that add to vehicle survivability are the installation of auto fire suppression and an NBC protection system. The KAAV-7A1 is a highly maneuverable amphibious vehicle. They travel 13 km per hour in the water and 72 km per hour on the land, enabling them to achieve effective ship-to-shore transport operations in a variety of adverse sea and land conditions. In addition, the vehicle has the ability to negotiate 3-meter plunging surf, difficult beaches, and rough terrain. The KAAV-7A1 is equipped with a new, upgraded weapon station that is more reliable and provides more firepower than previous models. It mounts AK-4 40mm grenade launcher as well as AK-6 12.7M heavy machine gun. The K-4 can fire either KM-383 high explosive, HE, or K-212 HE dual-purpose rounds at a cyclic rate of 250 RDS per minute to an effective range of 1,500 meters. The K-6 fires at a rate of 450 to 600 RDS per minute and has a maximum effective range of 1,830 meters. According to the manufacturer, the RCWS is stabilized and provided with both daytime and thermal infrared night cameras and an eye-safe laser rangefinder with a maximum range of 5,500 meters. The fire control system provides an automatic target tracking function as well as automatic ballistic calculation and fire correction functions. These new amphibious assault vehicles represent a major resurgence for the Philippine Marines and will be launched from the Philippine Navy existing fleet of floating assets. Primarily the Tarlac-class landing platform docks that were designed to be compatible with AAVs. Representative of Hanwha Ocean, who recently paid a courtesy visit to Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, 
SBMA, Chairman and Administrator Jonathan Tan. It offers the Philippine Navy submarines and it is interesting to note if the Philippines also embarks on the acquisition of additional KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicles manufactured by Hanwha Ocean.